So recently there has been a lot of interest in the role of the gut microbiota for functional gastrointestinal disorders in general and irritable bowel syndrome in particular. And there are numerous studies that have demonstrated uh, abnormal gut microbiota composition and function in subsets of IBS patients. But to date we don't really know how important these uh, abnormalities are for symptom generation. But there are some indications in recent publication that there might be a case that uh, IBS patients have abnormal gut microbiota that leads to symptom generation uh, and that might, might be through interactions with the gut barrier function and also with the gut immune function. But still there is a lot of uh, more research that needs to be done in order to fully understand this picture. But uh, to summarize, uh, to date we think that gut microbiota alterations are of relevance for symptom generation in IBS. This is of course based on the fact that gut microbiota alterations are of importance in patients with IBS and uh, human milk oligosaccharides can actually um, be beneficial since they can improve or increase uh, what we can call beneficial bacteria in the gut such as bifidobacteria and there are some studies demonstrating that bifidobacteria are reduced in patients with IBS. So that was the basis for doing this study. Uh, this is an open label study so this is also see how this uh, human milk oligosaccharide works in the clinical setting uh, in the community uh, and to also look at safety uh, when it's used in the general IBS population. So it's an open label study with no placebo control uh, in it. Yeah, the key findings was, I mean, they were very positive uh, clinical uh, eff efficacy data from, uh, from this uh, compound. It normalized uh, stool uh, abnormalities in a, a large number of IBS patients, both IBS with constipation, IBS with diarrhea, and those with a mixed bowel habit. Uh, the the uh, HMOs also um, uh, improved other uh, IBS type symptoms such as abdominal pain, abdominal bloating and also improved the health rated quality of life uh, to a substantial degree in these patients. And um, when it comes to safety, the compound was also found to be very safe and well tolerable and very few uh, patients actually stopped the treatment because of adverse events. I mean, there are several lines of research that are planned now. I mean, we need the placebo control trial to really confirm uh, these positive findings in this open label trial. But there are also, in parallel, um, more mechanistic studies ongoing uh, where we actually try to evaluate uh, why uh, prebiotics uh, and in general and HMOs in particular seems to be of relevance for symptom improvement in patients with IBS. For clinicians, I think at this stage you need to be a little bit careful when you recommend it because, as I said, this is an open-label trial, but it looks very promising uh, to treat patients with IBS, with HMOs, but we need to have this placebo control trial before we can widely recommend it. But, uh, to, I mean, in, in, uh, before we have that, I mean, it's, it can be used since, it's, uh, since it was very safe to use it. So, uh, uh, with this caveat, that it can be used in clinical settings today.